Hey guys, how are you? So I'm going to show you how to build a quick home page that looks like this one. So pretty simple, one main product with a few upsells and a nice slider, slideshow, a testimonial and social icons and a free shipping bar. So right now I have already set the top bar. Uh, pretty simple. I can display it on desktop or mobile or both. Uh, I can display social icons or not, and I can change the text, of course, add a button, change the colors, and a few other options like uh, currency conversion, I mean, uh, to, to, to display the, the currencies as well as the social icons. So I'm going to keep this navigation for later. Uh, what I want to do right now is to show you, well, uh, basic stuff like logo or not with height uh, customer accounts uh, card type as well um, but the more important is uh, the sections for the home page uh, just to mention that uh, the sections are not limited to the home page they are uh, available to all the other pages as well as a built-in page builders for pages like about us or contact us page but I'm gonna just quickly create the same kind of stuff that we have on my demo right there so this is a duplicated uh, theme and i'm gonna add a slideshow and because i don't have any uh any uh other slide i'm gonna just delete this one so right now i have this i can select the time uh to switch the slides i can also make it a uh, bigger or smaller I'm gonna keep it medium and I can increase the text or reduce it as you can see and put it like really small so I'm gonna hit the slide select from my library this picture I'm gonna write here where is the maple syrup I'm not sure if you know where is it it is gonna delete this because I don't need it I'm gonna put uh, find it online button and this will lead to a product page let's say this product and find it in store this will lead to a store page but I'm too lazy to create one so let's put the contact page right there and um, I'm gonna let the text there but I could like switch column like align alignment as well but you know you can play with this later you can add a overlay color uh, to play with opacity of the uh, of the image let's put it a little touch darker and I'm gonna put some colors there uh, I'm gonna let it white white and let's say like this and let's say I want to put an orange button really quick gonna put the border of the button as well as the background and that's pretty much it and I'm gonna change this font color for this one Okay, so I'm gonna save. I have my slider, I have my buttons, and my title. Now I'm gonna put a little touch of thrust and uh, add some icons. And by default, I have a list of the main icons that we see on stores, free shipping, returns, uh, the guarantee or the warranty, the best quality stuff, and the uh, safe checkout. And let's say I want to edit uh, one of them let's say this one oh let's say this one sorry so I'm gonna put NDA improve because this is food and this is good so you see it it changes so this is done but you know I don't want any icon list title and I could also put them white and that's it click I'm gonna add a section which is the product Excel itself so the single product again 
I don't want any title there and I want to sell this product and I can choose if I want to send people to check out cart page on the product page or do nothing or stay on the same page or don't show any button um, I won't need the, qu the quantity right now and this is other options uh, that you can edit I'm gonna change the text of the button to a buy now and I'm gonna disable uh, the arrows actually uh, right here and I'm gonna disable the zoom as well so that's the product and I could also add a few other products uh, right below this is a slider we're currently adding a grid view as well so you can add four or more products here and they will slide on mobile and desktop as well so let's say I'm gonna upsell this that is sold out on Uber I see sold out but I could also see right below if I uncheck this box I'm gonna have more products right there uh, maple jelly and since maple jolly I have uh, to select options or variants and when I click I'm gonna be able to select because I have product variants right now I'm gonna add a little more and the last one not sure I have enough products here so I'm gonna add again the same products so this is it and I'm gonna save just to make sure I don't lose everything so right now I have my slider icons the featured product and uh, a few other upsell products and I want to change this sorry not this one I want to change this title to app you may also like So that's it. Then what I want to do is to add, just to remember myself, yeah, this image with, uh, I'm going to add another slideshow actually. And I'm going to add a small one. And I won't check this. I'm going to remove this and had not from my desktop but from the library this one just remember the text okay so there are several I don't remember the old types of my bull syrup. Let's say horse is the best one. Period. Okay, so I can add or no a button, but well, I will in this case. I will add taste the difference and I'm gonna send it to there would be better off like this no second button image could be aligned differently like this it's nicer or like that and I'm gonna go a bit fancy and add a overlay color
maybe less intense. Just like this. And change the primary button color as well as the text. So I'm going to save this and add two last parts to build my own page. I want um, I want a testimonial. Let's say I lost 10 pounds eating maple syrup. Amazing. Okay. I'm going to upload a picture of a girl. Cute one. His name is Jennifer. And she works at Proud Magazine. That's it. I'm gonna save. And I could add more stuff, but it's, I mean, it looks pretty nice already. So, what I could do is maybe add a separator to make a nicer separation of a few sections but it's not I mean it's really not needed maybe this will look pretty nice right here and that's it so you have in about 12 minutes built a custom really nice looking um, store and yeah so you can start from there and we'll show uh, how we do the other pages with the same sections logic. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to build a custom product page on Shopify and I'm going to do it with uh, the conversion team and with the se sections uh, that we have here. So when I browse to my website and I go to the product page, I can uh, select uh, here the section product page. And I have multiple options to enable or to disable. Like for example, I want to skip the breadcrumb. So that's it. I'm going to also have a mouse, mouse over um, um, zoom or instead of being a mouse over, it could be a click. Like I really need to click here. So, and I could also display or not arrows uh, that should appear uh, next here to the, to the, to the image. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you like basically what we have. I didn't create any color swatches, but it's, it's really simple to do it with the theme and you don't have to edit multiple uh, liquid files uh, in order to have variants uh, associated with colors, for example, the color variant and to have uh, them right here uh, to be able to select red and to see the red uh, t-shirt to be able to change the color instead of a drop down menu. So I won't display the quantity uh, so far I don't need it well I could uh, actually it's pretty nice uh, I could display the vendor the collection the tags the SKU the product type so they will all appear here if I do have a product type and if I do have tags so I'm gonna display or not some share icons and also here the icons could be uh, displayed or not and I could edit the text uh, related to it it could as well display some related products right at the bottom and change the number of related products and also put a add to cart bottom right at the bottom of them. This is some mobile version tweaks um, to uh, locate the description before or after the options 
to show uh, just an excerpt of, of content and I'm going to show you how it looks on mobile right now. So right now, well, it won't look like this. There won't be any gap because I just switched. It does that. I have some tabs enabled right now. So I have like recipe description and as you can see, I can switch the product description before or after and I can have three lines or more uh, before I enable this arrow to scroll more right like this. I prefer to have less text just like this. And this is if I have uh, product options like variants, I could display the label or not. So here are the tabs that I'm using. I'm going to switch back to desktop right there. So the tabs are there. They appear as a accordion on mobile. It could display them or not. And I also have the reviews right there. And I could write a review and I could also see them. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. What I have for the product It's really simple. It's focused and uh, we also have other options in general settings, but I'm going to dig into this uh, a bit later according to, for example, the variant swatches. Um, so that's pretty much it in four minutes. So uh, I hope you will enjoy building uh, your store with the conversion theme. This is how we build a collection page on Shopify. I mean, I'm going to show you uh, right now. I have four products. One is in sale. Uh, one has uh, different formats and uh, which is product variants and one is sold out. So I browse to my store while I'm in the customized theme section and I click on Maple Collection and I see my four products. So right now it's pretty simple. I have a bunch of options right there to display a breadcrumbs, which is uh, really useful if you have uh, multi-level uh, navigation and multiple collection and sub collections. So you can see that, for example, I'm in home, maple syrup and in maple candies, which is a subsection of the maple syrup section, for example. And I can then browse to remember customers where they are and in which collection slash categories they are. I can also display a title. I won't because I don't see the need and I can instead of showing the buttons there I can simply show them over the images. That's what I'm gonna do. I can as well add a tag filter bar but I mean I don't have any tags right now that's why you see nothing or the basic and usual sort by uh, section. I won't. So I can display on mobile in one or two columns. Uh, so this is pretty cool if you want to uh, put more emphasis on the product image. You put one column because you will have one product per row uh, on mobile. And you will have two columns if you select this. So the product button, this is pretty cool. You can hide them. Uh, you can send them uh, on the cart page or the product page or to the checkout page directly uh, if they click uh, add to cart or buy now. So because right now I have buy now, but if I change, this should change as well when I save. And this is pretty cool. I'm going to add a banner. Uh, right now I have one. This is for the non-collection, which is the all collection, the catalog page. But right now I'm in the Maple collection, so I also want a banner there. Well, the Maple Syrup. And <clears throat> I'm going to take an image that I already have. Let's take this one. And I'm going to change the title to uh, something like Maple Syrup Products. I'm going to remove this 
Well, it looks nice with something, so uh, browse or tasty products. Like this. And I could put this bigger, smaller, or very small. I mean, the goal is to see the products also. So I'm going to stick it with very small and I'm going to change a link alignment to, well, I'm going to let it to middle as well. And <clears throat> this is okay. The gradient, the one I like and I prefer the most is this one. You also have a slightly different one where you could put the text black, for example, just like this. But I'm going to stick with the taste that I prefer and which is this one. So you fill the gradient uh, right here at the bottom and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to save and in four minutes I have a up and ready custom collection page. And if I have more collections, I can add a banner for each of the collections that I have just by selecting the right collection right here. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to build a quick contact us page as well as other normal pages, which is really, really, really similar works, works the same. So uh, my goal is to have a quick, like simple map, a form, as well as a product to upsell right there because the contact us page is usually uh, the second most visited page on your website um, after your, the home page, of course. So uh in order to do this i'm just going to show you how so you go in customize theme theme and then you go inside uh inside the the page contact us i mean you browse your website and then you see this simple these simple options to display a breadcrumb or not to display the page content or not uh for example right now I go in my contact us page and I'm going to put uh, some phone number and an email and anything else. And if I click save, I will see it appear right there. Uh, I mean, I won't see it right now. I need to save here as well. But I could, I could, I could. Uh, simply uh, disable this and just show the contact us page and here instead I could show the phone number and other stuff right there so this is the promo product uh, this is an option that we added because we really like it you can edit the title you can decide where you want to redirect your customer after they click the buy now you can also hide this button and only show on hover of the main images I mean the product image you can also enable or not the map and you can select different type of map mode as well as putting your location and zooming a little bit less on the location itself or you a satellite view I mean you can add a title you can really uh, push this map feature uh, far <laughs> and only show on desktop for example or both on mobile and desktop or only on mobile uh, this is an option that I will add as well you can also uh, move the map at the bottom as well just like this so basically this is it this is how you can quickly build a contact us page if you don't want the product there you can simply disable this and put none right here right sorry <laughs> okay stop 